China has now become the third biggest trading partner for Papua New Guinea. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said this is why it is important to continue to encourage more trade and investment as well as the partnership that PNG forged with China 40 years ago. Uh, many of you know that uh, the success of Papua New Guinea's growth in its economy over the past 15 years has largely been contributed to by the Chinese government and the Chinese businesses that we do in the country. That is why we want to continue to expand on it. This visit symbolizes that. The Prime Minister announced that PNG and China have now agreed and signed an air services agreement. He assured China that Air New Guinea would do everything possible to ensure two flights a week directly to Beijing before the year's end. He also announced visa on arrival for Chinese traveling to PNG on short visits. I know there are over 100 million people, Chinese citizens, who travel out for tourist destinations around the world. We don't want 100 million to come to PNG, but we want 100,000 to come to PNG. All Chinese visitors who are coming for a short term, a 30-day stay in Papua New Guinea, will have a visa on arrival. That is a commitment that Papua New Guinea government has given to the Chinese government. Mr. O'Neill said China's President Xi Jinping is the first of the APEC leaders to confirm his attendance to the 2018 APEC Leaders Summit in PNG. The Prime Minister arrived back in the country yesterday. Deli Waigeno, National MTV News.